to have playing time in the teams that they will be with them. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand the question with um, players getting playing times at their clubs. The, the, the problem always is that, um, uh, uh, one, this is not my my problem, but I, I ideally would love all the squad to be playing regular at their clubs. Um, but generally this is not the case. Some play regular, some play sporadically. Some play at a uh, uh, very high level, some play at a level not, not so high. So the most important thing is, is that when they're with us, it's about what you can get out of them in two days, which is difficult. We only have two days training for it before the first game. Um, but it's picking a side that you think can compete well, can get a result, and in this second game, it was very much uh, for us to try something different with regards to the formation that we played. Um, play some players that are very much part of, of what we do that, that didn't play in the first game. And that's a hard balance because on top of that, what you want to do is you, it's important to win the game also, just for the feel of the, the group and of course going forward. Um, and of course for us to score, disappointed to concede the, the, the goal at the end, but to score three goals and in a game where maybe we could have scored more, then, um, then I have to be happy with that. Okay, Chris, just, just how important was this game in terms of uh, you starting your preparations and looking at the team towards the African Cup of Nations? And what were some of the things that you saw in this game that you think subsequently you would need to improve if uh, Ghana is to do well in India? Yeah, I think you can, um, you can uh, always look to improve. The, the, really, the, the really good advantage of this game was that you know, as I said, before the Central African Republic game, we in effect had two days training. So if we didn't have the second game, then probably the players would have gone back to their clubs the next day and, and, and in effect we would have had them for two days training and one game. So this was important because we were able to do some work with them leading up to the second game. We tried a different formation because um, I think these are the type of games where perhaps we can try things, um, even though it's not to the detriment of, of the result. We still want to win the game, and we still want to be as strong as possible. Um, but certainly I've seen, I've seen enough in the two games um, to, to always give me confidence. There's still things we could have done better. Today in the first half, I thought we, we gave the ball away. The, the pitch was difficult, with the, with obviously with the rain. But I thought we gave the ball away too easily at times in that, in that first half period. And sometimes you need that to settle into the game. And sometimes you need to get that first goal to calm everybody down. So, but I've seen enough in the, in the two games to be, to be confident and optimistic and, um, and, and looking forward, of course, to the next game. Yes. All right. Uh, my name is Derek Eames, and I'm actually for TV. Uh, first of all, uh, what did you like about today's win? And secondly, you, you had a change to your system. Three, um, like three, four, three system, and it produced three goals for you. Are you thinking of taking the system also to the African Cup of Nations? Um, well, I can tell you, um, first half I wasn't so happy because um, we changed the system, and we, when you change the system, you want the system to work, and it's and it's, it gives us an opportunity to look at the system. Um, so not so good in, in the first half period, but I think particularly once we got the first goal then I think really the game opened up. And then I, I enjoyed a lot of what I saw um, uh, in that system. So wh whether that's down to the system or whether that's just down to the fact that we scored the goal, the game opens up, and maybe whatever system we'd have played would have been the same end product. Um, but we managed to score three goals. Um, I think we could have, we could have had more. Um, so, as I say, there's, there's, there's a lot of good aspects of what I saw, particularly in the second half. As regards to going forward, all that, all that does do is gives me um, some opportunities to think. To think about different formations and changing formations in games. Yes, Hi, Coach. My name is Abigail. I'm a 
Hamid and Jonathan Soa. And we are grateful for the time we gave them today. Personally, on your level, um, were you impressed with what you saw? How would you assess them? And please, will you do it again? Um, I, 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 I'm very, very conscious of what um, uh, adding introduction into the camp uh, from local players. I'm very, very conscious of that. that that's why I um, stay here for periods to watch watch as many games as I can here. Um, but it's, it's always going to be about competition. And um, when it comes to whatever squad, I have to pick the whatever it is, 24, 25 uh, man squad that I think is the best squad to get the result that, uh, that we need to get. Sometimes uh, injuries can give others an opportunity and uh, uh, the, we of course had an opportunity for two, both players from the young, that, and I think both done well, and particularly um, Jonathan coming on in that last minute and um, giving the team um, a real lift I think in that period, particularly when the game opens up, but really pleased for Hamid as well in, uh, to, to make his debut. So. I think that's probably, for them too, I think that's great encouragement. It's great encouragement for more, more of our local players to want to aspire to. Yes. Coach, I did put Lance in some parts in this one. Coach, you made mention of your disappointment in the first half, but to me, it has been a consistent problem to your team. From uh, Angola game to Madagascar, last week at Kumase, your team struggled in the first half, and today, uh, do you have any idea of the problem you are facing during the first half of the game? Um, well, well, ultimately it's also about getting the right result. So the, the, the game is not the game is not played over 45 minutes. The game is played over uh, 90 minutes. Um, and uh, you are right. In some recent games, with um, we haven't played. We haven't played to the level that we would have liked to in a, in the first half period, and that's uh, that's my responsibility. You know, I am the coach, and you know, for any difficulties or problems that I see, it's for for me uh, and the team to solve their problems. And um, uh, it can be the other way around. We start strong or finish not so good. So we 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 all accept we also accept if there's aspects of a game we haven't done well enough. That's, uh, that's always areas for us to improve on. Yes. So my question, one question to Coach and then one more question to end. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win. It's the first time we're coming to Accra to play a game in four years, five months. We've been playing in Cape Coast and Kumasi in the past, uh, in that period. You've had the privilege of playing most of the games in Kumasi. What would you say are some of the similarities between playing a crowd in Kumasi and what are some of the differences? I'd like for you to also factor the pitch, the crowd, and everything that goes there. And for Endes, uh, you grew up admiring Mohamed Kudus. Now you're on the pitch, scoring goals in the national team with him. How does it feel like? Okay, so on the, on the first question, um, uh, I would have to say, first and foremost, that um, the decision to where the games are played are, of course, decisions by the association. Um, for myself personally, uh, what I would never do, and, um, because I've been around a long time and played at lots of clubs and, and uh, had lots of experiences, is, uh, is um, uh, I would always appreciate wherever we play and whatever crowd we play to. So the only thing I can do is speak about today. The, the, the crowd were excellent today, and I think they grew with us as the game got better and our performance got better, the, the, the crowd got, got louder. Um, and, I, and I think probably the fact we haven't played here for a while um, had something to do with it. And it's, of course, for everybody, it's good. It's good to be back here, but, but as regards where the games are played, that's uh, not my decision. Uh, it feels good. Uh, they are the players we look up to, and not only a lot of the senior players in the squad, and it's also a motivation for us 
like uh, being on the same pitch with them, scoring goals is uh, motivation and this uh, keeps me going because one, I was watching him on the TV and now you're on the pitch with him, doing great things for them. Yeah. Yes. Coach, my name is Joseph Adam Matthew with Ghana Web. Um, the last time the Black Stars played at Akra Sports Stadium was some two years and five months ago. You returned to the Akra Sports Stadium and you won by the same margin that we won the last time against our Tony 3 1. And the Black Stars have struggled to score more goals under you and the previous coaches. And playing at the Akra Sports Stadium, you've been able to score three goals. And the last time we were able to score three goals was in Cape Coast in the game against. Madagascar and one against another team. Would you say maybe you fancy um, other places for your World Cup qualifiers? And for Ernest Miyama, two goals in two matches, what would you like to say about it? Has it boosted your confidence? So, uh, very quickly, as regards uh, when we play our games and the fact we scored goals here and maybe not so many goals in Kumasi, um, I, I, I again can tell you that um, uh, we are subservient to decisions that are made and uh, decisions that were being made are certainly above us on where the games are played. But we've had the excellent support whatever the games are. This is this is for sure. And whether it's a full stadium, 50% uh, full, 25% full, we have a, a, a Ghanaian support and crowd that are very, very much behind us. So for us, our responsibility is to do the best job we can on the football pitch, whether that be in Kumasi, Cape Coast, here, it's our responsibility to try to do the best job that we can. Yeah, I would say it has, was, uh, my first debut goal for Ghana was uh, in Kumasi, and it's my community, and it helped Ghana qualify for the African Cup, and uh, yeah, I, I'm highly motivated. So to, uh, to, <laughs> to, to answer your question, um, uh, I think one, um, one, one area, you know, if, if, if one of the concerns has been um, uh, that we, we haven't scored enough goals, um, then certainly one of the pluses of being is that we haven't conceded so many. And if we haven't conceded so many, then that is also a big part of what the goalkeeper does. So we work with the quality of keepers that we have, and um, we are very, very happy to work with them, and they're very, very much part of any, any win that we have, any um, result that we have, certainly the result where we don't concede goals.